seeing this series come together has been incredible because it's the scale of it is unlike anything we've worked on. I mean, we worked on Fargo for five years, yeah, yeah. which to us was a big show. We're up in the snow, and coming to this, we're on the lunar surface, and we're in space, and we're in mission control. It's really been incredible to kind of grasp it and, and get through it, really. So. Yeah, and I mean, for me, what's been really interesting is as it all comes together, and then the visual effects start to, because you know, you shoot a lot of shots of astronauts walking in front of something green and you know, the lunar surface that's as big as this table. And then the visual effects come in and it looks like they're amazing to see it all come together. What is the power of this show? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, sort of the dramatic thrust, the power. I mean, what do you think it is that makes the show so unique? I think. I mean, I think what's interesting, there's been a lot of uh, alt history shows, or shows that look at history in a different way. I think the difference with this one is it's an optimistic take. A lot of them tend to be darker, cynical, future. I think this is, a, this is our way of kind of expressing optimism. Even though we're starting with the idea of losing, the idea is that eventually we win. And I think that is a different take. And even showing, I think the other exciting element to answer your question is a lot of alt history jumps ahead in time to show when that change happened, to show the effect of it. In our show, we're actually showing change as it happens year to year. So I think that there's a lot of Easter eggs uh, that are in the show that I think most people won't even notice, but to us, it's the fun of writing something like this. So. That's a good answer. <laughs> you gonna go with that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna holler. Can you give us an Easter egg? Any what? Can you give us one of the Easter eggs? Oh, yeah, I can tell you, so in our old history, uh, Teddy Kennedy doesn't go to Chappaquiddick because in real history, actually Chappaquiddick happened right before the, the moon landing when he went out there. Um, and in our history, he never goes. He goes back to deal with congressional hearings about losing the moon to the Russians. So it keeps him politically relevant because in the real history, what happened in Chappaquiddick kind of cost him the presidency, many people say. So in our version, he's still a relevant political. The idea is that if that competition continues, then the excitement of space travel would continue, and it would drive us further than just landing on the moon, as you'll see with this, even with this first season. So, yeah. He's saying good answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Killing it today. <laughs> uh, you've touched a little bit on how this Question. I mean, I think there's many different little ways that get more bigger and bigger as the season progresses. I think one of the ways, we make a big deal of uh, female astronauts, which weren't part of the program in the beginning. And I think, so one of the things we looked at was, there's this program called Mercury 13 that actually happened in history where women were fighting, female pilots were basically trained to be astronauts. But then the program was killed because of sexist reasons, essentially. So in our alt history, the idea is that that program, those women, all of a sudden come back into relevance because of the uh, competition with the Russians. And so that change is not just about a space change, but also the change, all of a sudden, if girls see women, female astronauts, does it encourage them to now pursue other things. And I think in our world, you see, even in the first season, how the, I mean, NASA was a very white male program. I mean, in the 60s, like, you look at these photos, it's like, People who look like Matt and I, yeah. or more like Matt, really, yeah. but <laughs> just filled. Yeah, and it really was until the that first shuttle program where they brought minorities in and women in, and you know the, the fact that the Russians uh, put Valentina Tereshkova into space in the mid '60s, and we didn't put a woman into space until the early '80s, it just shows how how far ahead they were in so many different ways. But Putting women in that iconic, heroic role of the astronaut in American culture in that time, I think, would have an amazing impact on feminism and culture. As the show jumps ahead each season, is it going to pro just progress linearly, or will you be doing like as new season, like jump ahead and see where we are, where we've advanced in I mean, time with the program and everything? I think there will be jumps but not I don't know how dramatic I think the idea is that we're trying to keep it we're definitely free to jump a little bit I mean in Fargo uh, I remember we did this in the first season where in episode 8 we jumped 8 months in, in like in the middle of episode 8 
And it actually was a real revelation to, revelation to us because the audience went with it. Not only did they go with it, they were excited by that jump and the ability to tell stories. So I think it's one thing that has informed the show because it's alt history. The way to show history change is you kind of do need to jump ahead a little bit. Yeah. So without getting to specifics, we do jump ahead, I think, little by little, in a way to be able to show the history evolve a little bit. Yeah, so.